Hello everybody. I'm back to tell you something very, very important that I've been wanting to tell everyone on my my YouTube website. If you have not been born again by water and spirit, get born again immediately. Cry out to Jesus and ask a Holy Spirit to come because we are living in crucial times right now. If you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, you're not going to know what to do. The Bible says we are sealed with the Holy Spirit. You know, those that are sealed were protected by the Holy Spirit, by God. So if you have not been born by water, which is baptism in water, after repentance of all your sins, and then asking Jesus to come, to, for the Holy Spirit to come, if you haven't done that, you need to do it right away. You need to get right with God. John 3, 5, Jesus says, when Nicodemus is asking him all the you know, questions, Jesus says, I tell you the truth, that unless you're born of water and spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of his Father. So it's very important that you get baptized by water and spirit. And if you don't know, if you don't know how to do that, then please write me a comment on after the video so I can explain how okay the, mo the main thing is to recognize you're a sinner to know the gospel of Jesus Christ what he did for you on the cross what he did for you after he suffered immensely that God gave his only son for you so that your sins will be washed away and never remembered again isn't that beautiful he will never remember the sins that you committed because you asked God from your heart to forgive you it's not a sorry like like no big deal thing it's a deep repentance which means you're not going to go back to your past to your sins that you were doing before you're going to walk forward with Christ so please try to understand that that it's just, this is a crucial time that we're living in and that you need to know Jesus like your best friend you need to know him not just know of him but you have to live for him you have to talk to him daily you have to Pray in your secret place, not just in the synagogue once uh, every Sunday just so people can see you and then you think that's it. No, it has to be one-on-one -on -one with Christ. He says that, that it's better that you get on your, in your secret place with him alone than for you to go pray like the other hypocrites in the big churches. I'm not saying they're all hypocrites, but I'm saying a lot of them are. They just, they want to be seen. It's always the same people uh, speaking in tongues and and making a big scene in the churches but nobody else is so it God says they they already they already got their glory you know and but if you pray if you pray in secret then the Lord hears you it's better to pray in secret when you're alone with him so seek seek our father our, our father which is you know God in heaven and the son Jesus Christ have a relationship with Jesus have a relationship with the Holy Spirit speak to the Holy Spirit because in these last times, we will not know what to do in these times. Like the Holy Spirit is telling me, do not take this vaccine. I already had dreams about not to take the vaccine. So if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you're not going to know. And you're going to be like all the followers. You're going to get in line and get it because they're going to threaten you. You know, they're going to say, this is the right thing to do because I know a lot of Christians lining up for this vaccine when it comes out. You know, so... You need to ask the Holy Spirit yourself, and He will guide you. But be strong in the faith right now. Talk to Jesus every day because we're about to face persecution. You need to. I'm not saying when it's happening because I don't know. I mean, already around the world, so many people are getting persecuted. In China, pastors and Christians are being murdered daily. Africa, India. I mean, everywhere on the world, Christians are being persecuted. Real Christians, disciple. For Jesus I'm not saying just Christians that call themselves Christians but they don't do nothing for God they never proclaim Jesus they never talk about him those are not real Christians I'm talking about disciples that really live in, live for the Lord disciple is mentioned in the Bible way more than the name Christian so stay strong and pursue Jesus pursue righteousness pursue it because he calls us to be holy and that he's coming for a, for the bride, the unblemished bride. I just wanted to make this urgent message for all the people out there that don't know 
or think they're Christians but they're not or they think that they're okay because they're in between good and good and evil it's no good either you're for Christ or you're for Satan there's no middle but the Catholics said purgatory that's a lie from Satan that's not even mentioned in the Bible it's either you're for God or you're against God okay you're for you're for the devil or you're for God you can't not in the middle you either got to go all the way with the Lord or that means you're with Satan so be careful don't think that because you you're a beginner in Christ and you're just learning and you think you can still do sinful things uh, that that will get you to heaven be very cautious because we decide God gives us the decision of what if we're gonna go to heaven or hell if we're gonna follow him or we're gonna follow the Satan the satanic cult so be careful read your Bible read the book of Revelation the devil hates it when we read the book of Revelation because it, it speaks about his destruction but it also speaks about how we're gonna be it gives us gives us Christians instructions read read the seven letters to the churches the book of Revelation is the only book written by Jesus Christ the only one after his resurrection many years after that he talked to uh, John uh, when he was in jail on the Patmos Island and he told him to write this and it is complicated to some people but keep reading it and ask the Holy Spirit to guide you in reading that book it's very important because it tells you how the world is going to end what's going to happen to all of us okay if they make this vaccine mandatory okay and later on when it does become available for the rest of the population I'm not saying right now because right now I know it's only for the medical field and then the the people in nursing homes but later on it's gonna be available to the rest of the public if they push it to be mandatory and you can't buy groceries or anything you know that that's very cl that's speaking like the book of Revelation where he says he will make everybody big and small to take the mark and they won't be able to buy or sell okay so He'll, he's going to force it on people so just look out for that and if the Holy Spirit tells you oh no do not take that don't take it you know you God will protect us the Lord Jesus protected us he helped all the people that were suffering in the Holocaust that knew Jesus in, the, in World War II he helped them even though they had nothing to eat he would provide food somehow a neighbor would bring food or somebody you know, they would get food in the mail bread somehow they will get food so don't think oh no I'm gonna die if I can't eat God will provide he's our provider he he says don't worry I even feed the little birds in the sky so don't be afraid um, just abide in Christ and I'm just giving you this urgent message to receive the Holy Spirit to get baptized by water and spirit read John uh, John all of it John 3 3 through John 3 5 it is he talks about that um, I think the whole book of John's amazing. The whole Bible is amazing. But if you want to start in the book of John first and the book of Revelation, that would be a good start for you if you haven't read the Bible, the Bible yet. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say um, because I feel like so many people are blind right now. So many Christians are going to go get this vaccine because they have more faith in this poison that they develop so quickly versus Jesus Christ. Have faith in Jesus that he will protect you. Okay, thank you, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.